What is up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Backyard Breakdown. In this one, we are going to be comparing Michaela Pivik of Oregon State and Haley Gorecki of Duke, two of the most underrated players, I believe, in women's college basketball this past season. Both of them were drafted in this year's WNBA draft. We're going to be taking a look at three aspects of their game, starting with their ability to finish. Michaela Pivik has been a dynamic player for Oregon State since she stepped foot on campus, averaging over seven points per game as a freshman. She nearly doubled that statistic by her junior year, and then in her final season here, she averaged 50 15 a game. As you can see, the step through move that she uses is pretty much unguardable. She uses it to get easy layups against the best competition here. You'll see her use it against Sabrina Ionescu, probably the best player in the country last year. Duke University's Haley Gorecki, on the other hand, was the 31st pick in the WNBA draft. She's the only Power 5 conference player to nationally average over 18 points, 6.5 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals per game. As we can see here, she's excellent in transition when it comes to controlling her body and being able to finish off plays for the AM1. Next, we're going to be taking a look at how they play off the dribble. Michaela Pivik shot 36% from three this season, but over 50% from the floor. She never goes too fast. As you see here, she gives the defense a nice little shot fake, goes right by. Here she's taking a handoff, one dribble, pull up. She does the simple thing so well, never gets too fancy, and is really able to control her body when she's attacking to the basket. She loves to go to her fadeaway to score over bigger defenders in the paint. When it comes to playing off the dribble, I think Haley Gorecki is very similar to Michaela Pivot. Keeps it simple, doesn't do too much. As you see here, super patient, gets a shot fake, gets the defender up in the air for an easy mid-range jump shot. This is exactly why these players are able to be so efficient, and they don't necessarily need the ball in their hands at all times. Here we're going to watch their basketball IQ go to work. Michaela sees the defense overplaying her, cuts back door for a tough reverse layup finish. Here's a perfect example of basketball IQ. Knowing that she's not going to have time to come back down to the ground, she gets off the screen and gets her shot off just in time to win the game on an out-of-bounds play. And in this play, the defense goes under the screen. That's an automatic three. Gorecki's basketball IQ, on the other hand, is one of the highest I've ever seen. She reads screens effortlessly to create open shots for herself without having to even dribble the ball. If you go under or try to cheat a screen on her, she's going to make you pay, like she does here against UNC. Her offensive awareness is on display here. As her defender slightly turns her head, she cuts right behind her to spot up for an open three. The last skill set we're going to be taking a look at is their court vision. Both players had well over 100 assists this year and definitely helped helps contribute to their team's success. Pivot continues to show us why the simple play might just be the most effective one. She comes off the ball screen here, hits her offensive post player up high where nobody else can get it. These next two plays really set Pivot apart. Watch her track down this rebound and she really could take that layup, but instead finds her teammate wide open on the wing for an open three. Not every player is willing to lay their body on the line like she does here and then make the extra pass. Gorecki knows a thing or two about making the easy pass as well. Here she comes off the ball screen and the wing defender tags the roller, so she makes a simple pass right to her teammate lifting out of the corner. And because she's such a threat to shoot the ball, defenses have to chase over. Here she makes a super athletic play and a dish off to her post player for an easy layup. These next two plays show where she's at her best. When she's in transition, her ability to draw the defenders and then make an on-time, on-target pass while she's on the move is unmatched. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Be sure to comment down below and let me know two players that you'd like to see me compare next. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe, like the video if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.